Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will walk you through the process of creating a fully responsive website without using any media query. Yes, no media query at all. We explore how to use CSS Flexbox for Floyd layout, implement smooth transition and hover effect and ensure our design looks great in any device. This approach used JavaScript dynamically update the size of the screen while we are using different screen size. So this approach is perfect for those of you who want to learn about responsive design techniques beyond the traditional media query method. From header to footer, we will cover everything from navigation bar to main content area, sidebar, uh, with uh, a news and update and image and everything so before we jump into vs code don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more awesome content and ring the bell to get notified let's get it started and i have html empty css and empty javascript as well and i have image which uh, i will use it in a side section come in html here and write exclamation mark in html and press tab and you have here boilerplate of html and now let's just uh, change the title uh, on the browser let's call it responsive web without media query and save it and in the body here i want a header and for that let's create container for header and nav and let's call it header and nav container and in here write for us our header and this i want to call as well responsive web responsive web design no media query go and save it you have uh, the header i want to add navigation link and in that i have a shortcut that you can use it here and write nav an ordered list and added list here and i want five element here time is five and i want to add a link as well I write anchor and in here i need to have a half equal to let's just write hatch we don't want to link anything and then i need to have a text inside as well so in that just i write text here um, we are going to change this text and press tab you have five links and in the list so here we need to just change call it home services about contact one is login now go and save this create content area so let it content area in the content area i need a welcoming content which is a section let's call it a section here and this section i want class to have a welcome and give it a title so let's call it h2 and welcome to my website go and save it and just uh, let us add uh, some paragraph here add your text here and go ahead and save it and now you have a text here as a paragraph and i want to have a new section uh, which is also additional content and in that i want to call it uh, section and the class called additional additional content and also add a title here and let's call it h3 and in that we call more info and as well add the program here some text just dumb text you can copy from lure map somewhere anywhere, from anywhere and go ahead and save this oh we have we have a uh, two text here welcoming to page and more information and let's go and add a new section here and let's add this section which is you know uh, javascript used to dynamically update this the size of a screen and in that we just call it uh, section and in the class call it dynamic dynamic content comment here javascript design right below here let's add a site before that just let's add main area here let's call it main 
for the main content area in order to have a better control of our CSS. Right after the main, uh, add a side section. And in that side section, let's give it a title and call it news and update. Add uh, the image that we have it here in the folder and let's call it, we call it flexbox dot png call it news image give it a class give it a class call it a side image and in here let's add some text last let's add footer go right below the clothing div and write footer and in the footer here just add a copyright and save that and that is all we need before that just linked our javascript here and let's link our css here now we have a header navigation bar two text a side section and footer now let's just go to the style and start styling our page let's start by universal selector which is a star in that we need to set uh, margin and padding zero for all element removing a default browser styling say margin zero and padding zero and let's uh, give it box sizing to ensure padding and border are included in the total width and height of the element and in order to have a smooth visual effect let's add transition and in transition we give it to all and 0 0.3 second is now as soon as we give transition it has a smooth visual effect for the body uh, let's say fun family and let's just choose ariel uh, let's add flex layout with a column direction for arranging you know child element vertically let's say uh, flex direction let's make it column we say main height to have a 100 viewport ensure the body you know takes at least the full view of high and let's background color to have a color code e0f7fa color to be black for the header uh, let's say now for the header in order to ensure that the header is only for the header uh, let's set this here and save it let's come back to css and change the background color to have a color code which is 00-00796b save this and change the color to be white text align center padding 0 0.9 rem now let's go to nav ul let's display flex to make an application bar horizontal and let's say justify content to distribute space evenly we say space around and to remove list styling uh, we say list style none let's give it to padding 0 0.5 rem background color background color i want it to be 333 and let's add you know border bottom here four pixel solid i want it to be red now let's go to the links and for the links i want to have a color white and I don't want the text decoration, the underline, let's say text decoration none. And let's say add font size, 1.2 rem. Add transition effect for color change. For that we choose transition, call it color 0 0.3 and ease. Let's add hover effect by saying nav a, a pseudo selector which is hover, pseudo class which is hover to change the link color let's add the black and let's add a drop shadow on the hover choose filter 
and in the filter we need to add drop shadow and we need to give 0 0 0 0.90 rem and the color to be white and change this to be white as well now with we done with a header and nav let's go to in a text area we have a content content area and it is a class define the flex container with wrapping enable uh, padding and typically for main content areas and in that case we say flex flex one and say display flex and we call flex wrap uh, give it wrap and let's add padding give it to one rem if you want to know more about you know flexbox and wrapping and everything i made a crash course on css flexbox you can find it in this video let's go to main uh, we have a main here the main area let's say main and in the main you know we need to specify the main content takes you know a number and the available with with the flex container so we say flex we divide it into one one and the first one to take 70 percent of the width add padding here one rem as well to center text inside this section so let's add you know padding and shadow depths and rounded corners and in that we select section and the first one is welcome and the second one is section and it is additional we call it additional uh, content and for this let's say text align center and give it padding for the padding let's say 2 rem and let's give it box shadow for both sections 0 here 0 3 pixel 6 pixel and the color to have 0 0 0 and just to make a rounded corner let's say border radius and let's give it to 1 rem and to uh, give a gap between these two section section and for the section we just say margin bottom and this to give two rem to make a space between these two sections we are done with the main area so let's go to a side section and for a side section let's say flex and uh, we did the main area 70 percent so now we need to make 30 percent of the ways for a side section and give it padding let's say one rem and add different background for a side and in that case we give it to f e c b3 let's add a border left to have four pixel solid and color to be 0079 6b add box shadow and let's say 0 3 pixel 8 pixel color to be black border radius make rounded corners one rem give it a font size 0.3 rem now for a side section we have we need to style this image and we have uh, we call it the class which is a side image let's come here and it is class so let's say a side image and let's say max width say 100% let's say height the auto give it border radius and in that we need one rem for the image at margin say one rem and zero 
add box shadow as well to 0 4 pixel 8 pixel and the color is black let's add hover effect The header h2 h3 the color to be applies default scale transform and a smooth transition effect for scaling and hover so in that case we need to add f dot flex item and dot item dot item the dot align start And for this, we say transform scale to one. Add transition. Transition transform to have 0 0.3 second to be easy. For, we need to add hover for all of this. Just copy and paste it and add hover and say transform scale to 1.05 and the last one is the footer style the footer background color to have the same as the header and add color text align to be center add padding to be one gram and add font size to be 1.4 gram and now the last thing is for the dynamic uh, text our content from javascript let's style it as well and call it dynamic dynamic content and just add margin top appear like here and just give it to uh, the less responsive of the page and now if you just scaling down you see uh, we did not add any media query here it is just css let's add javascript we start by you know loading the content as a document in the document we need to add event listener and in that we just uh, add the DOM content we call the function const and then we call it dynamic content dynamic content equal to document dot or here we call query selector query selector we need to add the argument we need to give what to select and it is dynamic content here we call it uh, let's go to html and here this is it just paste it here and close this and let's add resize uh, content and let's say const and we call it resize content equal to and we call it so now we need to call the the function a dynamic content dot inner html uh, equal to we have a paragraph this p which is text call it window and we need to window and in the, the width of the window which is to give here the dollars we are almost there windows in window dot inner width and we need to show it in pixels close paragraph tag we close this and we just say window dot add event listener we need to give two argument here resize to resize the content here 
now we just say resize content semicolon save this you need to close this function here and here you have and now when we are resizing you know it's right the size of uh, of the window is here you are using javascript and it is fully responsive thank you very much for tuning in and if you like this tutorial give it a thumb up if you want to see more content like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next happy coding